Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the MS Excel VBA course tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to insert a new rows and the columns on an Excel sheet dynamically using a button click event. For that, I'm using a VBA code. So let's start the tutorial. Now let's check the final output of our application. When I click add new row, see here the rows are adding here. When I click delete row, rows are deleting. When I click add new column, see here the new columns are added. I have added the code to insert three columns at a time. Now when I click delete column, it's deleting a single column because we have set to delete a single column. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new blank workbook and right now this sheet one, I am adding some data, some random values here, some random text here. Now my aim is I want to insert dynamically some new rows and columns using a VBA code. So what I'll do is uh, go to dollar bar, go to dollar bar. Now notice here inside the controls there is an insert controls option. I'm adding one button control. For this example, I'm taking the ActiveX controls. Here I'm adding one button control. And this one I'm naming to well, what will add? We'll add some new record here. Okay. Go to properties. Now here, I'm adding add new row. Select this button control. Control C, Control V. Control C, Control V. Control V. Now second command button is add delete new row, delete a row, delete row. The third button control add new column. And the fourth one delete column. Now, when a user clicks this add new row, I want to add a new row in our Excel sheet. If, if the user clicks the delete row button, I want to delete one row from this Excel sheet. So first let's add a code for the add new row. Here we got the command click event. Once I double click the button click event, it redirects to the Visual Basic application with the command one click event. Now here the code is, rows one dot entire row entire row dot insert that's it it's very simple code let's run this application when i click add new row see here i'm getting new row and also if you notice the button clicks or the button controls also is moving down. So what I'll do is design mode, select the design mode. I'm selecting all the button controls and placing at the top. Now, now my aim is I don't want to move these button controls when I click the button control. So um, go to design mode. Select a new row, go to properties. In the properties, notice the placement here. Make this is three. And this one also three. All the button controls, the property of the placement, I'm changing to, to three. And this one also three. And the delete column is also three. Now, when I click add new row, let's close this one. Make sure come to the design mode, come out from the design mode. Now, when I click add new row, notice here 
The buttons are not moving now. Now the next condition is delete row. Again select the design mode, double click the delete row. Copy this one and paste here instead of insert and adding delete. That's it. Now switch over to our Excel sheet and select the design mode and I click delete row. Notice the rows are deleting. Now add new column. Again design mode, add new column. Now here the column is we need to select the range. Range where the column needs to insert its b1 cell to we can select multiple columns also b1 to c if you are selecting multiple columns b and c b and e three columns i want to add dot entire column dot insert that's it now again switch over to the coding part Come out from the design mode. Now when I click new column, notice here, it's inserting the new rows. Now the last one is to delete the columns. A range, I want to delete B1 dot uh, entire column dot delete that's it now switch over to the coding part uh, excel sheet delete see here the columns are deleting now let's check the final output of our application when i click add new row see here the rows are adding here when i click delete row Rows are deleting. When I click add new column, see here the new columns are added. I have added the code to insert three columns at a time. Now when I click delete column, it's deleting a single column because we have set to delete a single column. That's it. In this video tutorial, I have explained how to insert or add a new row or columns on excel sheet using a vba code with a button click event thanks for watching this video tutorial please subscribe share and leave your valuable comment we'll catch you in my next video tutorial